YouTube, what they do? It's your boy Sigma 50 back with another video. Uh, and as you seen from the last video, I am currently on E85, and I've been driving on E85 for the last three days. So, if you're seeing this right now, it's been three days since I first filled up on E85, and I only filled up twice because I was just doing like pulls with it. I wasn't really like cruising, I was just trying to do some pulls with it, get used to it, and it's definitely a, a difference. But I wouldn't know until like I go on a dyno. I want to see dyno numbers, I might do that one day. But yeah, it's going to be my first official cold start on E85. Let's get it. Alright, actually this is going to be the first official cold start for the channel on E85. It might crank slow, I think. Told you. They shot take me up.
Should be full by now. This car is always dirty, bro. You see this car in person and it's clean, bro. It's a miracle. But y'all yeah, finished on the twenty-two dollars for some violence, so my bonus. Let's go. All right, let's go. Just reached eighty thousand miles. Also, oh my god, might have to check my clutch pedal assembly. I think. Great. I can't low enough to scrape yet. Whew. I wanna know the dyno numbers, man. I don't I don't I'm not looking for like a a huge increase. Cause what I wanna do when I go into the dyno, I wanna do a 93, a pull on 93. And then maybe some other day where like when I'm on 85 do an E85 dyno and see like the difference bro because I want to know the numbers I want to see the numbers that I have on 93 and the numbers that I have on E85 bro on 93 I should be pushing about like between 418 and 420 something to the wheel and then on E85 I should be getting like either like high four like the high 420s or probably between like high 420s and the mid 430s but man look to be honest, bruh. Hold up, let's go.
let's go, let's go.
the resonators off, get a short throw, get a different manifold, uh, 2018 manifold. video hope y'all liked it i wasn't able to do a lot of pulls but um i got something in but driving on e85 definitely a different feeling um should you get e85 yeah if you want to apply a power difference you want to um, see how the car drives a little better 
on the top end like dude in terms of pulling yeah you should get 85 foot power difference but the daily it i don't know yet because it hasn't really shown me a huge difference from 93 because i only been driving it for like three days bro. i filled up twice so far on e85 like four but it's not really a huge difference man but yeah go and get e85 and bro it's a lot that i want to do with this car bro oh let me show you my setup if you haven't seen it already let me show you the setup all right y'all haven't seen it before like this is the setup that i have the boss 302 manifold the jlc code the nt but long to let us down now you don't see them but you can definitely hear them that i have something on this car and bro right now i should be pushing about 430 something to the wheel man but i'm gonna do a dyno one day yeah but i'm on e85 but I've definitely been an experience driving this car um it's more and more that i need to be doing to this car that i'm gonna do soon but i have a modification coming to my house in a few days and i yeah i definitely think i go like that one a lot of people been asking me about this one also leave it in the comments which i think i'm getting and look man i need some tires bro definitely need some tires but yeah this is setup man it's the setup i think i can see that bro but whew, that just look beautiful man sometimes when i look at this i be like bro why would i want to change the change to the 18 manifold when that looks beautiful at the top open the hood and you see that bro it looks beautiful but in terms of modifications bro it's more what i want to do man might get some drafts in the back soon on uh, future wise on uh, some side skirts some real side skirts what are them things called side spitters raw i mean a real spit on spoiler in terms of the bumper, man, I might keep that. I like how it looks. But look, man, there's more I want to do. In terms of performance-wise, I'm going. I'm planning on keeping this car forever. And it's definitely something I, I had to bring into mind. Boosting it. Thinking about a Pro Charger, a Vortec, a Whipple, a freaking single turbo, a twin turbo. It don't matter, bro. Like, this car has to get boosted soon. But that's in the future. Right now, I'm just enjoying it while it's in A. Uh, hopefully, y'all stay with me to enjoy this journey uh, with me. Some of y'all out there got the same. Must think it's me. Y'all probably thinking about doing the same mods as me. Hopefully, I'll be like that kind of like a guide to y'all. The train is naturally aspirated, but but it's more I want to do. More I want to do. I'm keep saying it's more I want to do. But like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you new. If you new, man. Look, this the setup. This the setup. And then the closer car tips is the mufflers that I have on this car. Definitely a different man with the E85. I can smell it right now. Definitely a difference. Yeah, the closer car tips. You can see it smooth out. I used to run rich on this, but shoo. And look, bro. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. And I am going.